I'm the fastest, Robbie boasted, his nose twitching. Hey everyone, my name is Mohamed Hassan. I'm a Google developer expert in Angular. And today I'm showing you something that I've built with my friends at IOMAX based on AI, which is this AI storyteller that you can use to create stories for your kids and classrooms. Let's have a quick look at this. This is the website where you go and try to create your story. If you scroll all the way down, you can also see testimonials from different parents who have tried this out. But when you generate the story, the first thing is that you define who the story is for, if it's for a single kid if it's for a group and what should the story be about then you can tell what is the age group that you're targeting then you can go ahead and select the language i've tried this in english and urdu and hindi as well and all of them work you can also try your language as well and then you can define what are the interests of this kid or the group for example toys trains books etc then you can define where this story is happening is that in the space or jungle or underwater in a magical kingdom school or everyday life then you can also define what is the moral of the story or what should the story teach should it teach kindness courage curiosity friendship or if it's just for fun finally you can also set the mood of the story is that a funny story a magical one calm adventurous and whatnot once you do so you can click generate and you can generate the story i've already done that creating this story and this is based on these inputs here i've said that this is for a five years old and the story is about a turtle and a rabbit having a race the classic story i've also said that the favorite things of this kid is books toys and trains i want you to keep this in mind then i've said this story is just for fun this is going to happen underwater unlike the traditional story the language is going to be english and the mood is adventurous you can also see that this was generated on this particular time now when you look at the story this is what it looks like let's go through it together in the narration style once upon a time deep in the shimmering blue underwater world lived teddy the turtle and robbie the rabbit teddy loved to read books about trains while robbie zoomed around playing with his toy cars now notice Notice that the story perfectly accommodates the interest of the kid. We are talking about books, we are talking about trains, we are talking about toy cars as well. And you can also see here books, toys, trains, etc. All right, let's move forward. One sunny morning, Robbie challenged Teddy to a race. I'm the fastest, Robbie boasted, his nose twitching. Teddy chuckled, a trail of bubbles escaping his mouth. We'll see about that, Robbie, he said. They agreed to race from the big clam shell to the sunken toy train. Teddy knew Robbie was quick, but Teddy Teddy was determined. Teddy put down his red book near the big clamshell and prepared for the race. Now you can see that we are still talking about books here and everything is underwater and everything sort of follows through. Ready, set, go. Robbie zipped off like a rocket, leaving a swirl of sand in his way. Teddy started swimming steadily, remembering his favorite train book. He imagined himself as a strong underwater train chugging along the track. He imagined that his flippers were the wheel of the train. Robbie was so far ahead that he decided to take a little break. He saw a shiny toy car stuck in the sand and he started playing with it, forgetting all about the race. Now notice here that unlike the traditional story where the rabbit sleeps, here it's accommodating the interest of the kid so it makes sense in the story all right let's resume teddy kept swimming slow and steady never giving up he saw robbie playing with the car and he smiled Finally, Teddy reached the sunken toy train. He had won. Robbie, surprised, hopped over to congratulate him. You were amazing, Teddy, he admitted. Teddy smiled. It's not always about being fast, Robbie. It's about keeping going, even when it's tough. They both laughed and decided to play with the toy train together. Now, that's the entire story. You can see what age this is appropriate for. You can also share this on LinkedIn, Reddit, or X. You can even use this application on your mobile phone because it's mobile friendly and maybe even bookmark it so you can always read this story and go back there quickly now i also want to mention that all of what you're seeing is open source so if you go to the github repository of iomax this is the github repository you can follow the instructions to set it up locally on your machine and even deploy this using google firebase and other related technologies that are mentioned right here so this is possible to be expanded upon and if you find any issues make sure to just submit them and also feel free to contribute to create more features or ask for feature requests now if you want access to this particular site where you can create three stories for free to Today, you can just comment kidlytics in the comment section and I will send the link to you personally in a DM. To be honest, I can't wait to see what you build with this particular tool that I've built with my friends at IOMAX. We want to see the stories that you create, so please make sure to send them in the comment section. And also, if you can submit a testimonial of how you felt about this application, that would be awesome. So we can add that to a repository and on the site as well. And finally, if you're looking for people to work for your AI projects, which are complex as this one, please reach out to IOMAX and you can find the link in the description of this video. Having said that, as always, happy coding. I'm going to see you next time.